Hey guys, this is Andy with Troglodyne. Today I'm going to talk about something that I discovered about Postgres on cPanel. For all you guys that love cPanel integrations out there, you of course you probably know by now if you've taken a look at troglodyne.net, I do maintain a UI-based upgrader for Postgres that gets you up to Postgres 10. There are a couple of bugs right now that are going to be fixed in cPanel itself in cPanel 92. However, there's another way that you can get on earlier versions for say CentOS 7 or CentOS 6 upgraded versions of Postgres, but it's undocumented. What am I talking about? Well, let me go over and take a look. All right, so I'm taking a look right here at scripts install Postgres within user local cPanel. And since it's just a normal script, uh, it's not compiled, anything like that. Anybody can just go and peruse it that has cPanel installed. So one of the things that you'll note is that it has a list of stuff that it's wanting to install here. And the packages that it wants to install includes RH PostgreSQL, RH PostgreSQL Devel, RH PostgreSQL Libs, RH PostgreSQL Server, and then it has the normal OS provided ones that are after it. Now, normally for yum, you'll note that uh, the thing that it does, if you give it conflicting packages, well, not necessarily conflicting, but ones where both of them provide the same thing, the first one that you provide takes precedence. So if you do it that way, which that script does, then that will allow those RH based ones to go first, so to speak. Now, how does this help us? These RH-based ones, if you do a little search online, you'll note are from the SCL libraries for CentOS 7 or 6, which means on CentOS 7 particularly, you can install Postgres 10, which is currently the last version of Postgres that we can upgrade to in 10 within my UI-based plugin as well. So if you are looking for avoiding some of the strange bugs or perhaps encountering some other bugs because I haven't tested this, you might want to enable SCL and install the RH PostgreSQL uh, version with scripts install Postgres and see how that does for you. Now, one thing that I will say is scripts install Postgres, if you already have Postgres installed, can be somewhat of a bad idea because generally it reinitializes the cluster. So you are gonna need to make sure that you've backed everything up first. It's not an in-place upgrade or anything like that, like my UI-based upgrader or anything like that. So do be aware uh, that if you're going to do that and it's already installed, then you're probably gonna have some sort of issue or you're gonna have to watch what you're doing. But say you've deployed a new thing, you install SC, you enable the SEL repo for it, uh, you make sure that the script runs, it installs the new tin, everything's probably gonna be groovy for you. Anyways, uh, other than that, all I have is just a few updates as far as what I might be doing for this. And sadly, the answer is nothing, at least until 92. And also at least until my employer basically says, hey, you know, go hog wild on it. For now, uh, I've been told that it is not exactly something that I should be doing uh, regarding plugin work while I'm working at cPanel as well, even though I'm releasing all of it free, that sort of thing. Uh, they just didn't like me having that priority, so I'm going to stop work on any of the cPanel plugins. It's, you know, a bit of a sad thing for me, but it is what it is. I'd rather keep the job than deal with that. So, there we are. Hope you all guys are having a great day, and hope you guys have a great weekend.